So these are the things that I'm going to be using to straighten this hair. And if you have not seen my previous videos, this is Brazilian Virgin, well it's no longer Virgin since I colored it, but it's Brazilian Deep Wavy that I purchased a couple months ago and I made a U-Part wig. So yes, that is a U-Part wig I'm wearing there. And I'm just going to be showing you how I straighten it. And this is actually the first time that I am straightening this hair. Well, I apologize for the dirty mirror. I did not even notice that it was dirty because I could not see it with my naked eye. But the camera that I'm using films in HD and HD picks up everything. Everything. So... Yeah, I'm sorry about the dirty girl. I think the key to good um, bone straightening of your hair is to make sure that the iron that you're using is hot enough and also to go slowly down the length of the hair while holding it taut and for that I'm using this brush that I got from Ulta I cannot remember the name of the brush and you see how sleek and straight the hair is coming out and you want to use um, smaller sections of your hair um, no bigger than the actual width of the plates in the straightening iron so that you make sure that you straighten the hair really well and none falls out while you're straightening. The smoke that you see coming out there is actually not the hair burning but it's the excess of uh, protectants that happens sometimes when you spray a little bit too much on the hair so the excess kind of smokes up and I'm halfway there <laughs> So I'm done with the straightening and actually this hair did not give me a lot of trouble to straighten at all and I think I owe it a lot to this brush right here. This brush works really well to keep the hair uh, stretch and taut while you glide the flat iron um, down the length of the hair as well as this flat iron right here from GVP. It's a mini one and a half inch ceramic um, ceramic plate iron and this works really really well. GVP um, products are comparable to Chi so yeah but they're just not cheap price. I got this at Sally's and this works really really well. This is a mini one. It's a travel size um, flat iron so it works really well. I just needed to do like one heat pass as you saw you know um, while I was doing it. it's just one pass and, and there how are we going there from blending. Blending is like with my hair was like super easy I would say it's um, really really nice and shiny and that's one of the reasons why I like this um, this heat protecting spray by um, Silk Elements this works really really well it has olive oil in it and when you spray it on it doesn't just sit on the hair while you're um, putting heat to it it's actually when you use like a straightening tool or curler it actually infuses the oil into the hair so it gives it that's what it gives it that kind that um, shine when you're done so the hair is like it's flowy and everything but it's not um, it's not damaged and it has a lot of shine to it I absolutely love this I've been using this for a while it really really um, 
it does work really well. So this is the front, and I'm just going to show you the That's back. The now. back. Yes, it comes down to like um, almost almost waist length, and I am five six. I am five six. No, sorry, I'm five. Why am I saying I'm five six? I'm five eight, and <laughs> this here is a sixteen and fourteen um, inch inches. Yeah, so it's two bundles that I have in here that I use to make the wig, sixteen and fourteen inches. That's probably why I was saying five six because I know there was a six in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, and what I'm going to um, do now is I'm just going to use a little bit of this glossing polisher in the hair, and it's a serum, and it has, um, well, you know, these serums, they do have silicones in them, and but the silicone actually does, it, it just helps to keep the hair um, protected from humidity. Um, on the outside, so if you are wearing your hair, you, you are wearing curly hair straight, then serums are your friend to keep your your hair um, to keep your hair straight. Yeah, and I'm just I just did this. I was going for a semi, um, more or less like a bone straight look, like you know from the the early 90s and stuff like that. I am so over the 70, the 70s look with the center part and the hair flipped back at the side and the curls like everyone's doing. I am over that hairstyle. I just like so overdone. I'm just so done with that. So I'm not going to wear my hair like that. I'm just going to wear it um, straight like this. And um, yeah, so I will come back um, when I'm ready to uh, wash this. Um, to see if the curls are, well, the wave pattern is going to um, come back. And I think it will because it was not really a tight pattern. So, like I said, it was no really no um, effort at all trying to get it straight. So I believe that the pattern will, um, will come back easy. But we have to wait and see on that. So, yeah. All the information um, about this hair and including um, the videos that I did before on it will be, links will be in the description bar so you can check those and out. And I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!